All right, neighbors, let's understand the differences between sex workers and victims of sex trafficking. Sex workers are their own bosses. They're self-employed. They don't need pimps. And all of the power and freedom to do as they wish should be given to them. On the other hand, victims of sex trafficking is a completely different story. They are recruited, they are transported, and they are exploited for the sale of their sexual services. And the pimps control them through physical and emotional abuse. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is slavery. And slavery is unacceptable, it is illegal, and so is sex trafficking in this country. But the amazing thing is that in Ontario and other provinces, but I'll stick to Ontario here, Ontario has mayors and their councils licensing pimps who control body rubs, wellness centers, massage parlors, and there's no one there that's working as a registered massage therapist. They are there to provide sexual services. Now, I'd like you to look at these girls over here. These girls are advertised online, and they are advertised as being from Asia, being students, and of course being between 19 and 21 years of age. Very interestingly, they are advertised locally in Markham because they work at Orchid Spa. You can check them out online. Orchid Spa is located across the street from the Markham Civic Center where the mayor's office is and they are licensed by the city. Now you gotta ask yourself the question, how did the owner of Orchid Spa bring these girls from Asia? How did he do that? Well first they were recruited by the slave owners in Asia. Number two, they were transported here and they got into this country by exploiting the immigration laws. There's someone in British Columbia who signed the paperwork to get these girls to come in into this country. Now I've gotta ask this question. Tell me something, why would anybody want to come to Markham, Stovall, and Vaughan? They came from Asia. They could get great business in Vancouver, Los Angeles, San Francisco, the list goes on. But why were they sent here? Because they were rented out, they were leased by someone in the Markham area. And so therefore we have that slavery element one more time. Now you know fully well that these girls would not have come here unless they were transported to. And then, of course, the second question is, why don't these girls simply walk away while they're here? I told you earlier, they are recruited, they are transported, and they are physically and emotionally abused by their traffickers, their pimps. Now, all of this is driven by money, shall we talk about money? Markham's mayor, Scarpitti, and council have made $1.2 million in licensing revenues since 2014 when the federal government made body rubs illegal. Bill C-36 made body rubs and massage parlors illegal. They're called illicit. And that money, those licensing revenues, came from the pimps themselves and from the girls. This is called double pimping. I think it's unacceptable and we ought to do something about this. And I want you to join me in emailing Mayor Frank Scarpetti and tell him, Frank, time to get out of the business. And the reason we're doing this is simple. These girls are someone's daughters, and we have a responsibility to rescue them. Send that email to Frank Scarpetti.